If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new album in the description. Playboy Cardi was the cover story for the Double XL Spring issue of 2022, and so also in the same wake of that, he gave an interview, which is one of the rare Playboy Cardi public appearances that we've had ever since Whole Lot of Red dropped in the end of 20. 2020 and a lot of people you know speculating about narcissists or speculating about that Uzi tape 1629 and stuff like that but today you know I wanted to go over some of the stuff that he said in this new double XL interview and how this relates to a lot of the projects that we've been talking about and also you know what might come next in his career so let's jump straight into this so starting off with probably the most important aspect of this whole interview which is him revealing uh, details about an album, a new album that is supposed to drop very soon, and apparently is just called Music. Now, we don't know if this is Narcissist, we don't know if this is Whole Lot of Red 2, we don't know any of that, but it's just named Music. He said about it, I was about to name my album Music because that's where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Music. Music because that's all it is at this point. You know, kind of kind of funny how he's just saying like it's music is what it's at this point like it's not always been. But I guess it's just how Cardi works. He's also been asked about his baby voice saying that, you know, people are criticizing him for that. But he just really doesn't get offended by it, which I think is pretty good. He then also went a little bit more into detail on this new album, Music. He said, yeah, then it's that. Like I said, it's music. That's what it's for. So everybody can just, you know, I got a lot of people that I gotta take care of so I'm here forever so the music that I'm making is forever I've been listening to mayhem the weekend a lot of old Atlanta shit ratchet shit do you think sometimes I need to dumb it down do people think I'm too ahead because sometimes I feel dumbing it down makes more money very interesting that he speaks on this after dropping Whole Lot of Red, which was a very dumbed down album that made a lot of money. But I like that it's, at least he's like, you know, questioning himself and questioning of whether, you know, what's the right way to make music? Is it worth dumbing down the music uh, just for the sake of making more money with it? And just with all of that entails. So I like that at least he's also thinking about that when, you know, talking about this new album. Now, apparently he's also previewed a new track to Double XL during this interview view called Wicked, um, but I guess we'll just have to wait until we, you know, get the official version of this. He also said, I have a lot to say. I'm ready to speak my mind and just let it all go. It's me. And he also said concerning, you know, the content of this new album, love, sex, drugs, changes in my life. I've been rapping about going to rehab. I want to go to rehab because I think I'm bipolar. I want everybody to feel free. I want this album to make everyone feel free. I hope this album brings peace to the world, honestly. I'm in love with what I'm doing. Like I told you, you can't put a genre alternative on me. My little brother told me that all the time. Now, I hope that Cardi is doing okay because saying that you want to go to rehab because you think that you are bipolar is really not like a mentally stable statement that you would make. Um, but I like that he's at least admitting that. And I hope that if he does face those problems in his life, then he go, you know, go out and seek the help that he needs. In terms of what he's saying about the album, this kind of seems a little conceited. Him saying like, this album bring peace to the world and stuff like that. I mean, that is a nice intention, but just I think that's a little over the top right there. That's something like Kanye would say. But I don't think Cardi is at that level where that would be like a statement that everybody can at least somehow take him seriously on. He also talked about Uzi a little bit, talking about the 1629 collaborative tape that they were working on. He says that he he loves Uzi, he forgot to mention him, but he loves him to death, and that Uzi is working on map music right now. I don't know if he's being serious about a lot of things, but I hope one day we can change the world with that for sure. So we can see that Cardi is definitely on like his, his hero arc right here, you know, his redemption arc is trying to save 
save the world, trying to bring, you know, peace to the world with this album. I like the energy behind it. I just hope that it's not like him just being in his bubble completely detached from reality. But I do like when artists have this vision, of course, you know. That's not what I'm trying to criticize. I'm not saying, like, he's too cocky, he's too this, too that. No, I think that's pretty good that he's, like, self-confident. It's like, yo, I'm trying to bring peace to the world. I'm just hoping that he does it in a way that's not like completely detached from it. He also talked about Opium, the label he's creating, talking about the artists that he has, like Ken Carson or Destroy Lonely. He also said that he's um, signing a gang of producers now, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, also talking about how he met those people and like, you know, turn them into superstars and stuff like that. So I like that he's also on that wave himself, now trying to also put other people on after quote unquote making it himself. Now, whatever Cardi does next, people are still gonna watch him and listen to the music because even the whole letter read was mostly perceived negatively, even though it was very torn between people that loved it and people that really didn't like it, me myself included. I did not think that whole letter read was that was not it. Um, but you know, all the older stuff that Cardi has done, I think, have contributed to hip hop and you know, pop culture uh, very deeply. So I'm really excited for whatever he's got coming out next uh, but I do hope that at least it'll be somewhat more focused somewhat more concise with more of a mission than whole lot of red was which just seemed like random you know snippets and random just unreleased stuff just thrown together didn't really like that album at all but him now talking about all these missions he wants with his music and he wants to accomplish with his music I'm in good spirits that this album will actually turn out better than whole letter red and i think that him also taking now a more than what is it now one and a half year hiatus um i think that's also a good sign that he's locked in working on new stuff also trying to build his crew around him trying to put those people on i think that's also always very important when it comes uh, to artists that are you know not just focused on themselves but really care about the music and what other people make with the music as well so i really like that so yeah playboy cardi is the cover story of the new double xl magazine as i said you can go check out the full interview he's given um on double xl it's on the front page but also this was kind of like the summary of what he talked about uh, concerning new music obviously he talked about a lot of like fashion stuff as well when you read the whole interview but this was mostly what he said about the music uh you know in terms of his new album music that's what it's titled and also the 1629 tape uh, he's planning with uzi even though that is really not like solidified yet but yeah that's everything that we know about this so far uh obviously what i talked about and what i kind of commented on it is just my opinion now let me know what you think about this are you excited for music narcissist whatever do you think 1629 will still come true and did you like whole letter red yes or no i know it's an old debate but still want to hear some takes on this all of that please let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you wanna stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my Discord in the description. Until the next one, we'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.